Hello students. Good afternoon. Students, we have completed lesson number 4, explanation and exercises, isn't it? So today we are going to start with the fifth lesson that is notepad. So open page number 29 of your book. Lesson number 5, Notepad. Okay, do for our students. So today I am going to do reading. So let's begin with our lesson. Lesson number 5. I am going to do the reading of this lesson. The Notepad window. This is the Notepad window, okay? Number one, title bar. The title bar displays untitled notepad, the name of the program. Number two, menu bar. The menu bar displays the main menus like files, edit, format, view and help. If you click on any one of this menu, you will see a drop down menu that contains many other tools and commands. Next page, student, turn your page. Number three, text area. This is that area of the notepad window where you type text. The small blinking vertical line that you see in the text area is called cursor. The cursor shows where you are on the screen. When you press a letter key or a number key, it will appear where the cursor was and the cursor moves one space to the right. When you move the mouse pointer in the text area, the pointer changes to look like I. Using the keyboard. No. Number one, letter keys. The letter keys are used to type letters, words or sentences. All the letters on the keys are capital letters. But when you press the letter key, that letter appears on the screen as small letter. Press the key, press the keys J A C C K on the keyboard. You will see the word Jack in small letters on the screen. As you type each letter, note how the cursor moves one space to the right. Turn your page next page student. Number two, space bar. The space bar is the longest key on the keyboard. It is used to put space between letters or words. You can see the word jack on the screen and the cursor at the end of the word. Press the space bar once 
and see how the cursor moves one space to the right turn your page students next page using the letter keys and the space bar type the word words and jill jack and jill next page student number 3 enter the enter key is used to move the cursor to the next line you have typed jack and jill and you can see the cursor at the end of the word jill press the enter key the cursor will jump to the next line if you want to leave one more line you can again press the enter key the cursor jumps down one more line next page student number 4 caps lock, caps lock the caps lock key is used to type in capital letters press the caps lock key you will see a yellow light on the top right hand corner of the keyboard when this light is on it shows that you are using the caps lock key to type in capital letters if you again press the cap caps lock key the yellow light will go off now whatever you type will appear in small letters on the screen press the caps lock key and type jack and jill all letters are capital letters jack and jill turn your page student number 5 shift the shift key is used to type in capital letters press the enter key two times to leave two lines after jack and jill press the shift key and without releasing it press i now release the shift key and press the keys n d i a you will see the word india on the screen the shift key is also used to type the option given at the top of particular key if you observe the keyboard carefully you will see that all the number keys and some other keys have two options on them next page students press the enter key twice and type 
how are you now you have to put a question mark at the end of this question look at the keyboard carefully on the last line of the keyboard there is a key with a question on a top and slash below it or slanting line press the shift key and without releasing it press question mark plus slash you will see question at the end of how are you look at the keyboard carefully the number keys are marked from 0 to 9 when you press a number key that number will appear on the screen if you press the shift key plus a number key the sign given at the top of that number will appear on the screen students we have completed reading of half the lesson okay so next half we will continue in the next session for today that's all we will soon meet in next session till then bye take care